What if I told you that AI could watch and understand everything you do on your computer and in the real world and help you do it better? Today, I'm gonna to show you something that feels like science fiction, but it's available right now. Could you help me add some text? Sure, I can help with that. To add text, you'll need to go to the effects library, then find the titles category. To remove the background and fill it with that solid green, you can use the quick selection tool or magic wand tool. Okay, I've watched the video. One thing that stands out is that he has a very upright posture while running. He also has a relatively short stride length and a high cadence. You can also make chocolate muffins, brownies, or a chocolate flavored sponge cake with these ingredients. Okay. That's looking better. You're now using your legs more to push off. Hi, this is Alex from Grit AI Studio, and what you just saw wasn't magic or some fake demo video, it was Google's AI Studio and its real-time capabilities. Google's AI can watch, understand, and guide everything you do on your computer in real time. Let me show you why this is such a game changer. Multimodal AI is one of the areas that really excites me, and we saw the early signs with real-time voice and some demos of real-time video last year. But now you can actually do this through the Google AI Studio. Let me show you how you can start using it today. Go to AI Studio and log in with your Google account. The free tier is super generous, and you can try out all the things that I'm gonna show here today for free. Studio was built for developers, so there's a lot of stuff in here, but let's focus on the real magic. Stream real-time. This is where you can interact with Gemini using text, voice, video, and screen sharing. You can use Gemini and its multimodal features to learn any tool or solution. Think of it as your personal tutor. You can get guidance on making a presentation, wrangle data in your Excel spreadsheet, or even practice your presentation skills and get live feedback. Now, before we start, remember that this technology is still evolving and be mindful with what type of data you share as the free tier can be used for model training. Now, let's jump in. So Stream Real Time allows you to talk to Gemini. You can show your webcam or on your phone, share your camera and you can share your screen. So let's explore something creative in Photoshop. I'm gonna open this portrait photo and pretend I don't know anything about Photoshop. I'm gonna share my screen and I'm wondering if you can help me uh, make some edits in Photoshop. Could you help me remove the background of this picture? To remove the background and fill it with that solid green, you can use the quick selection tool or magic wand tool to select the background, then delete it, and then add a solid green color fill layer as the background. Remove background. Okay. I did that now. Okay. Now you want to add a solid background color. To do that, you can add a new layer, fill it with the green color you have selected, then drag that layer below the main image layer. To fill the new layer with the green color, make sure the new layer is selected in the layers panel. Then go to the left toolbar and select the paint bucket tool. Could you help me uh, guide me through how I can replace the face of this person with the head of a horse? To do this, you will first want to select the area of the face that you would like to replace. Once the selection is made, the generative fill option will become available. Now that the area of the face is selected, you can click on the generative fill button that should be visible either in the context menu or in a panel at the top of the screen. Notice how it's not just giving commands, but explaining the principles behind the tools that I'm using. It's like having a professional guiding me at every step. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Watch what happens when I'm editing a video in DaVinci Resolve and ask Gemini for some guidance. Hi, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you have DaVinci Resolve open with a video editing project loaded. Is there anything specific you would like to ask about it? Could you help me add some text to the uh, screen? Sure, I can help with that. To add text, you'll need to go to the effects library, then find the titles category and drag a title over the timeline on top of the video track. Does that make sense? That makes sense, but there are several options here. Which one should I choose? That is a good question. I would suggest using the basic title option to start with since it gives you the most flexibility with customization. Do you want to give it a try? To change the text, you'll need to go to the Inspector panel, usually located in the upper right corner of the screen. Once there, 
click on the text tab and you should see an input area where you can change the text from basic title to whatever you want. To adjust the size and location of the text, you'll also use the inspector panel. Below the text input box, you'll find options for font size, tracking, and on the settings tab, you'll be able to change the position and more. You can drag the position options to move the title on screen. To create a zoom effect, you'll need to use keyframes on the settings tab of the inspector panel. First, move the playhead to the point where you want the zoom to start. Great! And when you play back the video, you should see the zoom effect happen gradually from the beginning to the end of the clip. Is it working as expected? The AI isn't just reading text, it's understanding the visual interface, recognizing tools, and helping me navigate complex software. Imagine learning any new software with this kind of assistance. What would typically take hours of tutorial videos and trial and error becomes an interactive learning experience. So for this last example, I wanna show you how we can share a video and actually watch a video together with Gemini and ask some questions about that video. Let's go. Hi, Gemini. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen now. It looks like you're on YouTube watching a short of Jakob Ingebrigtsen running on a treadmill. That's correct. So could you review this video for me and uh, focus on his running form and uh, provide me some tips based on that? Okay, I will watch the video and then give you some tips on his running form. Okay, I've watched the video. One thing that stands out is that he has a very upright posture while running. He also has a relatively short stride length and a high cadence. His foot lands underneath his hips and he uses his arms effectively, swinging them forward and back in line with his body. Of course, it's not perfect and it's still early days, but it holds a lot of promise. But here's where it gets really exciting. You can use this on your mobile device with real-time camera access. Imagine having an AI personal trainer analyzing your running form in real time during workouts, giving you advice on techniques, reviewing how you row, or getting step-by-step -step guidance while cooking a new recipe. It can even help you do the laundry. Let me show you some examples. Can you help me explain the concept that I'm reading about in this book? Can you tell me what book that I'm reading? That book appears to be Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach. The authors of that book are Stuart Russell and Peter Norvig. Hi there. It looks like you're getting ready to do some baking. Exactly. You can make a chocolate cake with those ingredients, and you can also make chocolate muffins, brownies, or a chocolate-flavored sponge cake with these ingredients. Based on the care label, you should machine wash this garment in cold water, do not bleach, tumble dry at low, and iron on a low setting if needed. Just start rowing when you're set, and I'll observe your technique. It looks like you're leaning with your arms on the pole. It is better to lean with your legs and use your back to swing. Okay, so not much more. It does not look like you're starting to engage your legs. That's looking better, and you're now using your legs more to push off. What makes this truly revolutionary is the multimodal nature of the interactions. You can speak to it, show it things, type to it, or let it watch your screen often all at the same time. This feels less like using a tool and more like collaborating with an intelligent assistant. And I'm confident this is just a glimpse of what will be possible by the end of 2025. We're witnessing the early stages of what will become widespread AI assistance across a number of use cases. Think about how smartphones transformed our daily lives. This level of AI assistance will have a similar impact on how we work and learn. Think about the potential impact on education, personalized tutoring that adapts to each student's learning style and pace. And perhaps most importantly, this technology could be truly transformative for people with disabilities, offering new ways to interact with technology and the world that weren't possible before. This is just the beginning and I'll be exploring more capabilities in future videos. If you wanna stay up to date on these developments, hit subscribe and let me know in the comments below what features surprised you the most. Make sure to check out this next video on five AI tools that I use every day to be a 10X version of myself. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.